back. Dula County High School held a Cure for Christmas rally this morning, keeping students with chronic illnesses in mind for the new year. Kayla Solomon found out just how much this event means to them. It is straight from the heart. Before students head home for the holidays, the Dooley County Bobcats had their classmates in mind. I have a student with lupus, a student with type 1 diabetes, a student that has, uh, had another form of cancer uh, in his nostrils, uh, several different illnesses. Principal Jerry Sanders says the students have been through obstacles as a whole, including losing a classmate, Emil Bubba Davis, two years ago to cancer. This time, students got to talk about their personal experiences with chronic illnesses, like senior Armarion Almond, who has stage two nasal cancer. I found out I had it when I was in ninth grade, and my nose was bleeding a lot, and it was a little lump, so masses in my nose, and they found out it was nasal polyps. But it was spreading quickly to his heart and lungs, and Almond needed two surgeries to start. Now he gets at-home chemo treatments once a week. I start to toot up my, not my nostrils so the medicine can come in and I guess treat the, the masses that's, in, that's around. His classmate Carly Wilson was diagnosed in October with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Because of her immune system being so low at this time, we don't want her to socialize with others because of the germ impact that it can have on her body. As Carly continues her treatments, the school raised $500 to give to her mother towards medical costs. Her mother, Cecilia Lester Laws, says it will help. It does get overwhelming having to travel to Atlanta every two weeks, so the gas expense, the meals. Lester Laws says the school has been supportive throughout this process, and the check is just proof of that. In Vienna, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Lester Law says Carly has an upcoming doctor's appointment to find out the next course of treatment for her disease.